Hello, my angels. We have two videos today. So watch this first one and then we'll talk. So y'all mean to tell me that a healthy, happy woman will willingly choose to spend the rest of her life by herself. Like, is that what we, is that what we're saying? So being single by choice is very real, right? You can be in your single season. You can decide like, I'm just, you know, living my life, not ready for a relationship, not interested in a relationship. And that's okay. But there's one thing to say that this is the choice that I'm making, that I want to spend the rest of my life by myself, no husband, no kids, no nothing, just me, myself, and I. Mm, I find it hard to believe. It sounds like a lot of bitter, broken, unhealed, unhappy women. And instead of joining all these movements, how about you join a therapy group? How about you hit up that number on the back of your insurance card if you have insurance and find out where you can find you a therapist? Because that's what you need. I, I, I don't, I don't, it doesn't make sense to me. It just it just doesn't like I just it don't make sense hi my name is Shana Conde for those who are new here I'm a journalist I talk a lot about decentering men living child free and if any of that sounds like a vibe then please like share subscribe and now let's get into this I'm gonna put on my seeing glasses for this one so the IWDA I think stands for the International Women's Development Agency or something like that along those lines right so um Hmm, are we going to start with this? No, we're going to return to this one. We're going to start here. Okay, so on their website, let's start right at the beginning of this paragraph here. Of the 18 of the 87,000 women intentionally killed in 2017, more than half of them were killed by an intimate partner or family member. That's one woman murdered every 10 minutes by someone she knows. These findings have led to the UN declaring home to be the most dangerous place for women. One in three women experience physical or sexual violence in their lifetimes. These numbers reflect a crisis of pandemic proportions. Now I want us to pay attention to something. This came out in 2017. What year is it? Right now. What happened in between 2017 and right now, the pandemic, the pandemonium, the panini happened in between this time frame. And what was something that skyrocketed during the pandemic? In this article by Time, magazine um domestic violence is a pandemic within covid19 pandemic it's a nine minute read but we're going to focus on a specific paragraph because i know a lot of people don't enjoy reading i lied it's two paragraphs so we're going to start with this one um surveys around the world shown domestic violence domestic abuse spiking since january of 2020 jumping markedly over the oh markedly year over year compared to the same period in 2019 according to the american journal of emergency medicine and the united nations group un women when the pandemic began incidents of domestic violence increased 300 in Hubei, China, 25% in Argentina, 30% in Cyprus, 33 in Singapore, and 50% in Brazil, the UK, where calls to domestic violence hotlines have soared since the pandemic hit, was particularly shaken in June by the death of Amy Lane Stringfellow, 26, a mother of one and veteran of the war in Afghanistan, allegedly by the hands of her 45 year old boyfriend and they say mature men are better but hey at least to the person who made that first video at least she had a man but Shayna, those are just in the other parts of the world like it's totally different in the united states okay cool 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 in the united states the situation is equally troubling <laughs> with police departments reporting increases in cities around the country. For example, 18 in San Antonio, 22 in Portland, Oregon, and 10% in New York City, according to the American Journal of Emergency Medicine. One study in the journal Radiology reports that in Brigham and Women's Hospital in Boston, radiology scans on superficial wounds consistent with domestic violence from March 11th to May 3rd of this year exceed totals for the same period in 2018 and 20. 19 combined. Now, what is the only difference that if we really just lightly think about it, and I think a lot of us have thought about it, but just in case, just in case nobody else has thought about it, um, the only reason why these things have skyrocketed during that time is because women were not allowed to leave. You couldn't leave their homes even for a brief moment. You couldn't escape to a friend's house. You couldn't go to work. You couldn't go to school. No, they were just with these men more. And look at what happens.
But hey, but hey, clearly the women that are single by choice, the women that said, I don't think, want, think I want to participate, they are the ones that are truly suffering. Now back to the initial source, the IWDA, um, because it's not just that these things are happening, but there are laws or a lack of laws that perpetuate violence against women internationally, right? Um, so for example, in 111 countries, it is not ex an explicit crime for a husband to rape his wife. Let that settle in. Um, and 45 countries have no law specifically protecting women from domestic violence. They're like, what is a domestic violence? Yeah, I, I play patty cake with people too. I don't understand what I'm hearing. Um, go figure it out. Go figure it out. But you know what you can do? You know what you can do? Um, you could get a husband. That would make everything better. And for all the people who are like, oh my God, Shayna, those are probably like third world countries. Like you can't just assume that it's like that in the United States. That's crazy. I feel so bad for those women over there. But like, it's totally different here because we're like the super smart and super wonderful Western world. I am older than the law that makes spousal rape illegal. I am older than that law. It became illegal in all states in the United States in July 5th, 1993. I am older than that law. The most dangerous thing that a woman can do is partner herself with a man. It is the most dangerous life altering thing that a woman can do. I've made a video, I'm gonna link it up here as soon as I figure out how to do that. Um, I made a video that talks about the health benefits that men experience through marriage, through long-term partnership with women. It helps every aspect of their health, of their social life. Men benefit from marriage, period. And in that same video, I talk about how women don't. Scientists have proven that women don't. Science has also proven that the happiest demographic of women are single, child-free women. Now listen, I'm not trying to save all women. I can't, I can't. That's too big a burden for me and I am a delicate angel. So I'm just doing the best that I can, but also for the women like the woman in that first clip. I wish you guys nothing but the best finding your big old ooga booga. I hope that he has the most protruding brow and the strongest jawline and speaks in more than four syllables. I hope that he can lift up heavy things and maybe even put them down. I wish that for you. And I hope that you take all of them Neanderthals off these streets. There's too much pollution anyway. I hope that you have the time of your life finding them because, and now we're gonna get into the next video, because if it is nothing less than what I'm going to show you, I don't want it. I'm sorry, but when y'all be like, marriage is hard, I hate this man, like, most of the time, I will never jump on that bandwagon. When y'all go to work and be like, I hate my spouse, ooh, I need to stay at work so I don't have to go at home and be with my wife, I wish I can kill her, not me. I, that will never be me, y'all will never come, I love this man, this is my sweet little dumpkin, this is my little honey bunches, kitty pity patootie, what do you mean you hate your spouse? What do you mean you can go days and weeks without speaking to your spouse? I didn't see him for like 15 minutes. And I'm like, babe, come out, come out. What do you mean you hate them? Y'all settled and are upset with your decision because I love this man through and through and he loves me. What, what do you mean? I, I will never be jumping on that bandwagon. Y'all be like, marriage is hard because you hate him for years. Not me. You know why marriage is hard? Because life is hard. Life is gonna throw obstacles at you whether you're single or with someone. So obviously it's gonna be difficult when life throw obstacles at him and throw obstacles at me, but our relationship, we like this. What do you mean? No. We argue, people argue, that's, that's life. But it'd be like, oh, I'm overstimulated, please give me a second. And he'd be like, ADHD, ADHD, I wanna be in your face. That's our argument, that's it. And then we come together and skip in circles and hug and kiss and shit. What do you mean you hate your spouse? The old ball and chain, that's my baby cakes. Y'all will never get me to hate him. And before you haters come in the comments talking about, oh, 
Just wait. Just wait. You're still not. What do you mean, just wait, dude? No, I love him. We love each other. You're a hater. Sorry. Sorry, you're miserable. And just for good measure, here's another side of this that I don't want any less than. Like if I, I am more than happy being single until the day I die. Because if it's not this, then I don't want it and I love me. And I need somebody to worship me the way in which I worship me. If not more so. Or else, no thank you. No thank you. I just freaking adore adore my wife yeah i genuinely adore my wife and i want to be the best husband the best father i want to take care of her i want to serve her i want my wife to brag on the type of man that i am for her and i take pride in it yeah i take pride in being the best husband that i can be for my wife and sometimes even when i do things that i don't feel like doing that i do for you mm. i do it anyway because i want to be the best husband <laughs> possible for my wife right period yeah. and i know that me overcoming myself and doing things that I don't want to do still takes me to that next level. Yeah. I'm like, man, I show up for her. Yeah. When she needs certain things, when she asks me for certain things or asks me to do certain things, I show up. I take pride in it. And what does this look like 10, 40, 50 years down the line? people are going to be single by choice indefinitely right it's like a lot of people are like you know what i'm done i know a lot of people that are like i am done i am tapped out whatever it is i don't want it right that's fine there's a lot of us that are also single by choice because it's like if i don't find what it is that i'm looking for then i am happy remaining single because it is my choice i can go outside today and find a man I can go out fine today and find a stick. Like, it's, that's not the hard part. If I don't find what I want, then why would I just be with a man? There is it, just a man. <laughs> oh, God. I know that there's a lot of women out there that are thirsting for marriage like it is the last Gatorade in the Sahara Desert, right? Completely forgetting that it is full of salt. There you are, more dehydrated than you ever could have imagined. I I just, it, the, the thought of just any old man just doesn't, it doesn't rev my engine. It doesn't make me want to, doesn't make me want to go outside. You know, it doesn't make me want to talk to a booga. No, no. I need something special to make me want to engage. And the I don't think that that's what the woman in that video is talking about. No, no. And I do feel bad for the women that are in that situation that don't understand that there's a lot of people that just don't just it's it's better to be single. It's genuinely better. I need somebody that is better than my singleness. Because I'm not alone. I'm just single. I am unattached. I am free. <laughs> free at last. Free at last. Thank God almighty. So I need some man to get me, if I'm going to transition out of the stage, he needs to be better than my singleness. And if he's not better than my singleness, then go bother someone else. Like, share, subscribe. Bye.